I've been running every single day and I have to go early in the morning because if I don't, then it becomes super humid and 90 degrees outside and that's just not fun. But the deal is if I want to avoid the humidity, I have to get up at like 6 a.m. every day and go on a run. And running four miles at 6 a.m. isn't the best. I have two miles left. You uh, you were on my desk and I recently converted it to a standing desk so that's why it, it went up and up and down. Today is Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday. And I have a gig on Friday and we're flying out. We're flying out Friday morning and I'm playing Friday night, Saturday morning, and then we fly back Saturday night. So I'll be back in Nashville Sunday. But with that, there's a whole slew of things that I have to do today to get ready for Friday. There's three th main things that I, I have to do, and actually, let's let's make this a little bit easier to to explain by using visual aids. Okay, so I got three things to uh, to do. The first of which is going to be make Ableton sessions. I have to make two, one for Friday, one for Saturday. And they're like six songs each or something like that. So pretty, pretty lengthy Ableton sessions. Number two is going to be learn any new songs that I have to do for this weekend. The church that we're going to actually put the set list together, so we have to play the set list that they gave us. And some of the songs, I don't know. Number three is going to be figure out what to bring. This is a fly date, so with fly dates, you honestly, it's different for every fly date. Typically, you're gonna wanna bring snare and cymbals, but with this church, I think I'll be able to use their house kit, meaning that I just have to bring my laptop and my interface, and that's basically it. I mean, in-ears and drumsticks and, and everything else, but not snare and cymbals, but we haven't confirmed that, so I have to figure out what to bring and then how to pack it for an airplane. A lot of stuff to do today. Okay, with that, I should, uh, should probably get started. I have no idea what I'm supposed to bring to this. I was in the studio here last night late trying to make a clap stack just out of symbols that I could uh, find in the studio and this was one of them and it just was left on the couch that's why I was just sitting there. So the three things that I have to do today there's a specific order that I'll have to go in to be efficient and to not be wasting my time. First is going to be make the uh, Ableton set which is going to happen right there. Now, like I said before, making Ableton sessions isn't hard and doesn't take a ton of time. It's just tedious, but I use templates and stuff like that to make the process go a little bit faster. And I have videos on that stuff and I'll link those up there somewhere. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but my desk is now at, at standing height. When I originally got the legs to make this a standing desk, I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna use it, but honestly, it's it's great. I love being able to stand or sit or do whatever, especially when I'm working like this, where I'm kinda walking back and forth between the drums and the desk. It just makes it a lot easier and I'm not getting up and down out of a chair all the time.
I just finished making the sessions for the night. I'm just missing one song, so I'm having to download it from a site called Multitracks, and that's just where this group gets all of their stems that aren't their originals and stuff like that. So once that's downloaded, I'm gonna put it into the Ableton session that I have made, and then I'm gonna go back there and go learn the new song on the drums. A uh, little pro tip, when you're buying tracks from like multi-tracks or somewhere else and you have to transpose them after the fact, I always download the original key and then I use Ableton to transpose instead of just buying the key that I need and having multi-tracks transpose it for me. The reason for that is mostly in vocals. With multi-tracks, it kinda doesn't translate very well versus throwing it into Ableton. There's a separate transpose mode that you can use for vocals and basically it, it just makes it sound a lot better. I actually don't think I've done a video on how I organize my tracks when I download them. If you'd uh, be interested in that, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video talking about it. In all reality, I'll probably make a video about it regardless, but you should leave a comment down below so that uh, I can have some feedback or if you have any suggestions on what I should include in that video, I'd love to uh, hear that. Remember when I said yesterday I was spending a lot of time trying to make a, a stack or a clap stack? This is the clap stack and this is some more symbols of that, that aftermath. So I keep tripping over them and I should clean them up, but I'll get to that later today. nothing more irritating than in-ear cables that are all tangled up because you can't just pull it apart. I mean, I guess you could, but you can't really pull it apart because you run the risk of breaking them and they always get tangled up no matter how neatly you wrap them. All right, I think I have the songs down. There's just one song that I had to kind of go over a couple of times. It was that 6-8 that song, uh, but it was good. It's, it's not super difficult. Like worship music is pretty simplistic and it's pretty universal. So learning songs doesn't take very long when it's for CCM or worship stuff. Okay, now uh, I gotta figure out what I'm taking out of that. And I still have no idea. So I guess we can figure that out right now. I almost dropped you. Gosh.
All right, you can probably already guess that I'm packing and we figured out what I could actually bring and what I'm not gonna bring. And this part of the vlog is gonna be me telling you what I decided to bring and how I packed it and everything because I'm pretty impressed on how much I was able to fit in the two items that, that I'm bringing. Okay, so I just have two bags. This one right here and this case, which isn't really a bag, but for the, yeah, these two, I'm bringing, I'm taking these two, these two things right here. First one is going to be symbols, obviously, that guy is not going because the church had a snare drum that was good, so I don't need to take him, but I do need to take the symbols, not these symbols, these symbols, these symbols were more of the stack clap thing that I did yesterday, and then this guy. This guy is packed to the gills, so I'm gonna go over everything that I have in here and how I packed it right now. It's honestly not that much stuff. It's just the way I was able to organize the bag and the broad scope of everything that I could take in this bag because there's camera gear, music gear, and a bunch of other stuff in here. So that's why I'm excited about it. Okay, let's uh, let's, let's bring it in. We'll start from the bottom of the bag and work our way up. So the bottom of the bag is gonna be most of the camera gear. It's a battery pack right here, drone, SD cards, the place where the camera goes and the microphone just goes on top of that guy. Drone batteries, drone controller, charger for this guy. This is this light right there. If you uh, are interested in that light, I made a video on it linked up there. And then the rest of this is for the specific date. So in here I have, this is where all the tracks are, charger for my MacBook, interface that normally is in that guy right there, but since we can't take him, it has to all fit in here. Microphone for talkback, which is also in that case. In-ears, which is also in that case. And then, in the bottom, my iPad. That, uh, that doesn't go in that case. That's just for reading and personal stuff for the plane because airplane rides can be long and you need things to keep you busy, especially if the plane doesn't have Wi-Fi and you can't stream any movies. So that's what the iPad's for. And then up top, it's gonna to be the laptop is gonna be in here in this little zipper part. T7 is for video editing. It's like a, my solid state drive. Card reader is this guy right here. Charging cable, drum key. And that's honestly ugh, about it. It's not a ton of stuff, just the essentials. And obviously I have a suitcase, but who wants to see a suitcase? This is the this is the interesting stuff, not the, the suitcase. Oh, and speaking of suitcases, I'm taking that, which is my stick bag, kind of important. And that guy is just gonna be put into my suitcase because it can fit and it's not a third bag. Because we have two carry-ons we're allowed, which is going to be backpack and my suitcase. And then the third checked item is going to be my symbols. And then I'll probably just gate check my suitcase. Because if you didn't know, that's free. All you do is just go to security with it, go to the gate that your flight is at, just say, hey, I want to gate check this, and it'll be completely free. And you don't have to pay for another bag. That's basically it. Super easy. That's, uh... That's basically it. I did my three things, which is, again, going to be make the Ableton sessions, learn the songs, and pack. So now, I just have to uh, wait for tomorrow. Our flight leaves at seven tomorrow morning, and we're all just meeting here. So everybody is gonna be here at five, and we're gonna leave here at 5.15, get to the airport at 5.20, because we're like two minutes from the airport. So having all that stuff packed, gonna be good because it's gonna be early and I'll be vlogging the whole thing so if you're interested in videos like this go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be no notified when that video comes out 
and it's just gonna be a standard travel vlog, flying into a venue and playing the, the next night. So it should be pretty fun. That's all I have for you for this video right here. So I'm gonna call the vlog right here. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you did enjoy it, leave a comment down below on what your favorite part was, or better yet, leave a comment on what you pack if you travel and how you pack it, because I'd love to know what you guys pack and maybe I can get some different ideas for that. And if you haven't yet, like I said before, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the new videos I post on this channel right here. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I'm gonna use the uh, good old notebook.